Hello my friends, welcome back to Mobius Front. Game which... The gameplay, I'm sort of enjoying. The story, I really, really like. <laughs> it's gonna be a real quagmire. A real what? A real what? Matter, long as we hit Quark up hard and fast. That's what I'm saying, sir. Maneuverability's a concern on this terrain. Nobody's asking you to dance, Private. We drop in, drive up, and kick Ivan in the nuts. Hell yeah. Death from above. Yes, sir. Don't call me sir. I work for a living. <laughs> Don't call me sir. I work for a living. Uh... Don't call me sir. I work for a living. Staff Sergeant, I guess, is this designation? I'm not very good with, uh, with US designations, but, uh... That's a reference to him being an NCO and not an officer. Plenty of corporals in the British Army that say that. Which uh, is funny because at Purbright, which is where they train British soldiers, um, when you're there you have to call everybody staff. And it's not wrong to uh, default to sir when you have no idea of what someone's rank is. So you hear a lot of, uh, don't call me sir, I work for a living. <laughs> Air defense team, okay. Stingers, sweet. It's got to be set up. But it has the same range as the Chappy. So uh, that's just totally superior. Airborne assault vehicle. Wow, nice. It has a main gun and it has uh, anti tank missiles. It's not cheap though. Mortar carrier, eh? I'm guessing from the fact that they've given me this that there's gonna be aircraft. A recon chopper with anti tank missiles and it has the perfect shot. <sighs> okay, so these guys are dead unless I get really lucky. Or he does that. The AI kind of breaks sometimes in that it uh, it thinks that it can't be hit in a particular position. And it can. Nice. It thinks it can't be hit in a particular position because you have not, uh, like, removed infantry from your tank or whatever. The guns are not working. The AI is is using the weapons that are operational to calculate where it can go. 
Not really considering that you could just deploy your infantry and avoid the issue. Hit air, but takes a turn to set up. Can't hit air either. Okay, he's dead, so I can set this up. Okay, they've lost a lot of units there. I mean, those helicopters are not cheap. Oh, another tank. He could just come round the corner and if he rolls a four I will die. But I certainly can't attack. He got a two roll. Fail. to not low roll there, but okay, well, whatever. Okay, bring on the anti-tank. another one of these maps where the enemy is on you in a swarm straight away. Oof. You guys are walking just so I can do this. Fail. Kill. Pull back. Okay. I just need them to attack into me, really.
Nice. That disgustingly low roll actually really saved me from taking loads of extra damage there. Failed. Good hit. Oh, outstanding hit. Whoa, excuse me. This mortar truck cannot actually do anything about this. Two to four. Minimum damage two. So I either get a three or a four and I kill it. If I get a two, I don't. Oh. Oh. Really hate Iron Jesus sometimes. See, he could get a kill now on anything. He went for the APC that's got units in it. Missiles away. What's the odds that they've got something there to protect? Send the Jeep in. Nah, it's just a rifle team. He's out of range. Okay, I think I've actually cleared out most of the enemy's forces that are that matter. Go, Bradley. I think we have a pretty clear path here to win, if there's nothing over here. Why would you shoot at that? I don't understand, but anyway. Yeah, looks clear. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just swapping them back and forth, these guys are like, what is going on? Uh, 
That one was pretty easy. They had a lot of tanks, but they just walked into a anti-tank missile crossfire and really paid the price for it. Damn, what about ours still works? Mm. Maybe being dropped from a plane isn't so good for the tank. A small number of Sheridans became inoperable after hitting the ground. There's reinforcements on the way. They're gonna drop the reinforcements too? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna drop the reinforcements Air Force yeah. Special Delivery. Hell yeah. Gonna drop what's left of them. Okay, this looks like a small map. What do I get? Hey, toes and vads. These things are amazing for their price. Seriously. It's like, who cares if enemy tanks destroy one when you pay one point for them? So these guys will absolutely delete any tank. If you get so many of them for the price of a tank. And then these boys they of course can move and shoot. Like, are you out in the open? Well, then you're gonna get shot. <laughs> uh, even enemies in the trees are not safe because if, as long as you can surround them, then there's no problem. And you get four ammo as well, which is so much ammo. Sometimes they do two damage, which is also awesome. What a great unit. Comrade General, what a great threat you are to your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> the infantry has got no chance against these things. Absolutely none. Oh wow, that tank just rolled in and he didn't even get a kill. Bomf. Bomf. That was two massively low rolls considering that they're two to six. I will forgive you if you land the next one. God damn, such a great unit. <laughs> I 
I really want to kill them. But I cannot because these are in the way. You can't hit it because something's in the way. Still, for the for how much it cost me, I have done untold damage to them. Now, I suppose the real question is, how do I deal with that when that is sat there? Guess we just do the same thing. <laughs> it's so funny how effective this is. You know, so I can just dive up there. I mean, these guys don't even have enough missiles to actually get their cost back. That's the part that's even funnier. I mean, they've only got two missiles. These only cost one point each. This unit costs one point as well. I'd be tempted to just run the ammo out on them. Most of these units are actually... They've seen enough action to be slowly running out of ammunition. Okay, so you've got one. Remember, his range is four. The range on these things is like six. Right, I need to get that anti tank team. So they're definitely dead next turn. They might get some they might get a, they might get one of my tanks. But it doesn't matter because these are cheap. Oh that was that was perfect. He truly did get the best possible result there. Now it's time to start giving some back. Good hit. Oh, mega low roll. Oh man, I got some really bad low rolls there.
Okay, but I still have plenty of units left. Oh my god, they got a four. It was the only result they could have gotten that would have killed a unit. Oh yes. Oh yes. See? Totally worth it. They just can't, they can't beat the swarm. They're out of ammo. So, uh, yeah. GG for them. I'm pretty sure that, that was all of their units. And I still have five anti-tank APCs left. These two units are the best units in the game for cost. Absolutely they are. It's not even a competition. They're mobile, they're deadly. This, these, these anti-aircraft tanks handle everything that's not armoured. And they can chip away at things that are armoured. The only, the only units they're not good against is armoured anti-tank. Which is where these guys step in. They ruin tanks and from massive range. And that's the funny part about them is because they only cost one point. They only cost one point each. So you get like three of them and set them up somewhere. There's no way a tank can deal with them. Six range anti-tank missile and four of them. That's more than enough. He's positioned in such a way I can't actually get the hurt on him. Ah, that's okay. Poor infantry out in the open is like, doesn't have a hope in hell. Any mission where you can deploy both of these, this is what you should do is just deploy both of these, because they're just too efficient. The, these things can just hose down an infinite supply of infantry. And I don't see how any vehicle could take these for cost. And so between the two of them, you have all the tools you need. And as for aircraft, forget, forget aircraft against these things. They're designed to shoot aircraft down. It's the fact that they've got four range and, and potentially two damage, I think, that really makes them super efficient. <clears throat> I'm literally trying to think of a way that a tank could defeat these for cost, and I just, there isn't a way, there isn't a way. <laughs> Only if you get super mega unlucky with your rolls. Well, Abrams could take a couple of missile hits, but I still don't think it would win. And you get four of them for the price of an Abrams. So, good luck. <clears throat> Fuck.
fuck. My legs are fucking killing me. <laughs> you're you're driving. I just thought you were tall for a tanker. Oh, he's cramped in. <laughs> you can always get out and walk. I'm fine. I can deal with it. You better, cause we aren't close to finish here. We're the fucking 82nd. Tip of the spear. Tip of the Hell spear, you. my boy. Tip of the spear, my boy. Oh yes. <laughs> Okay. Find and destroy remaining SAM units. Okay, well. That is it for now. We're really clawing into the game. I don't know how many more missions there are going to be, but. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the third chapter. That is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.